Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can customize fields and then have them available for every subsequent project that you do. So first of all, I'm just going to create a couple of tasks. So project A and then task one and task two. All right, so just indent those two. Go to the task tab and indent those two. Give them some durations, two and three, and then just link those up like that. So they're all linked, everything's okay. Now to create a customized field, you just basically need to right click on any column and you've got the option on the right mouse click there, custom fields. Once you get in there, you can see I've got one already there, manager. If I do text two and do another one, so I'll rename that one and I'll just call it responsible. Same sort of thing. And then it's going to be a lookup. So it's going to be a drop down list. So I want a couple of people on here. Mr. Green. Mrs. White, for example. One more. Mr. Black. So those are the three managers that are going to be responsible. Close that, click OK, insert the column. So if I just move this over a little bit, you've got the option there of inserting a blank column. I'm typing the letter T to get to text. And there's the one I want, text to, manager responsible. And then I can just drop the arrow down and click on whoever the manager is for, responsible for that task. And next one down, like so. Now, that doesn't mean that they are resources for these tasks. They're just somebody you might want to call if there's an issue with that particular task. Don't confuse this with resources. It's not resources. That's that column. But what happens if I want that available in a new project? So if I just do control N to get a new project and then I insert text two. So I'll just right click there, insert column, type T for text two, text two is just a text column it is not responsible the one i called responsible if i go into custom fields you can see the top one is there because i've made that available to every project this one is not the one i just did so i'll just cancel that off and show you how i would do that so i need to do Control w and then not saving that back to this one so what i have to do is Go to the view tab, go to tables, go down to more tables. In there, you've got organizer. You can also do this from the view option as well. So in organizer, I need to go to the fields bit. Then I can see responsible. You can see that I've already got that other one that I mentioned manager across there. So. I'll copy that across into the global template and then that will be available in all new projects and you can do that for views reports all of these you can do the same sort of thing if you created something new like so so i've done that i've knocked that across on the custom fields those two are now available they're actually both the same but if i close this down and just try that again i don't need to apply anything i'm just going to close that but if I now go control N for new again, control N and right click insert column and type T, I do have responsible text too because it's in the global template. And if I move this across, just give myself a task, task one, I will have the option there of selecting somebody from this drop down list which would be the person you would ring if there was a problem with that. So that's basically how you can create a custom field and then make sure that that custom field is available on any project that you then create going forward. So that's all I want to talk about on this little video. Hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.